can't find anyone. Now Otis Smith comes out high and takes it. Pippen guards in. Four seconds left. Smith drives to the basket, lays it in. Two seconds left. Long pass to Jordan. Jordan gets the ball, blocked away by Vincent. That's the ball game. It's over. In December of the Magic's inaugural season, Orlando recorded their first ever defeat of the Chicago Bulls. And so began what has become a series full of great moments between Orlando and Chicago. Yeah, we actually did onesies back then to see who didn't have to take the last shot. Otis lost and had to take the last shot and went into one of his uh, uh, jump stops where he covers about uh, 20 feet of real estate and banked it in. January 16, 1993, Michael Jordan leads the Bulls with 64 points against the Magic in Chicago Stadium. But the Magic wouldn't die. Down by just three, with time running out, Nick Anderson provided the shot of the game. Tolbert needs help, finds Anderson. Nick, good luck. Long good three. Look. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Good 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 Chicago calls timeout. Great look at the basket. Tie game at 103. Well, now the Bulls have only five seconds to get up a shot, and then there's 2.1 left beyond that. Here we go. Pippen ready to win back. Pippen gives it to Kukos. Kukos spins on Anderson. He fumbled the ball. Penny picks it up. Hardaway driving. Hardaway dunks it. Seven tenths of a second left. Hardaway dunks the ball. The Magic lead 105 to 103. Tony Kukos fumbled the basketball. Hardaway picked it up. Looked up at the clock. Throws down the floor and hammered it home. This crowd is going crazy. The Bulls are stunned at the arena. Hardaway finished with a career-high 39 points, but none as dramatic as his final two. It was just one of those things where it was a, a back-and-forth game with Chicago, which all the games always are. And um, it was like we are on the verge of losing. All they had to do was just secure the basketball, and then we get a steal. And uh, with me uh, going the length of the floor and... Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and making the basket, you know, it was just a great feeling for me because anytime you can beat a team like Chicago, you know, with their history, then it's, it's great for our, our team. May 18, 1995, Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals in Chicago. A magic win would end the series. But with less than three minutes left, Orlando trailed by eight points. The stage was set for a magical comeback. Shaquille right hand. Yes. There you go. You got to take it. He needs to touch it. Now get some stops in your back end. It's only a six-point game round. Right. Coach, he fakes and dribbles left. Three on the shot clock. He drives. Stripped and stolen. Nick Anderson fakes. Now takes three. Yes. Big hoop. Shaw's second free throws up. It's good. And the Magic have cut the lead from eight to one. Pippen right side to Jordan. He dribbles left. He spins right. He jumps. He shoots. Air ball. Anderson against Kukoc, five on the shot clock. Nick on a drive, pull up 20-footer. He drilled it. The Magic take the lead. 103 to 102. 12 straight points after falling behind by eight. BJ shoots it, missed it. Nine seconds left. Penny got the rebound. No foul. Ahead to Shaquille. We're going to the Eastern Conference yes. Finals. The Magic won game six and went on to the finals. But the most dramatic moment in the Bulls' Magic series actually came 11 days earlier. It's the most memorable play in franchise history. Tony Kukoc will inbound it. Jordan takes it. Anderson's there with it. Getting Anderson trying to steal it. Jordan dribbles around him. Clock is down to 12. And Anderson stole the ball. Hardaway picks it up. Two on one. Penny bounce past to Grant. He dunks it. 6.2 seconds to go. Nick Anderson stole the ball. This is one of those series where everybody wants because you got the greatest players. You got Shaq and his thing. You got Michael and his thing. Penny, you got Harris and Rodman. You got me doing my thing. You got Nick. You know, you just got a lot of guys can do something to excite the game. I think that's what everybody wants to see.